In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use QGIS to create custom color ramps uh, to add a nice little flair and special symbology to your data. Before I get started, I want to show you this tutorial is written up here um, on opensourceoptions.com. I'll include a link to this uh, blog post in the, in the video. Um, just so you know, I'm going to be using a different DEM for the video than is shown in the post. But everything else will be the same. Um, all right, let's get back to QGIS here. So what I have is I've loaded a DEM in here. This is in northern Utah, the Temple Fork watershed. I also have a heel shade. And so um, if you don't know about heel shades, you can research those uh, separately. But it's uh, it just shows the topography really nicely, and it's great for symbology. So what I want to do is make this uh, black and white. DEM with the elevations a different color and so we can start by double clicking on that on the layer and it brings us up here and you can see we have this style now the first thing I need to do is I need to change this render type um, right now it's single band gray I want to change this to single band pseudo color and right here is a color ramp option you can see right now there's not an option there if I click on this arrow this drop down it gives me some different options uh, for color ramps. I'm going to show all color ramps here. Um, and just to show you what this does, uh, let's select the BRBG. Uh, you can see these values it's going to give me here. I can click OK. And it changes the, the rendering or the, the symbology on my DEM on my raster. I don't particularly like these colors. I have an elevation ramp I like to use. It's a custom ramp. And I want to create that in QGIS. So what I can do here, QGIS3 makes this really easy. I just do create new color ramp, select gradient, and click OK. And it brings me up to this dialog box, which will allow me um, to create a custom color ramp. Now I'm going to go back to the blog post because it has some of the data there I need to, to implement this color ramp as I showed. Uh, so let's go here, and what I want to find in here are these gradient stops. Um, this has a position and a color to put to that position. So the first one, an RGB color. So the first RGB is 0, 120, 0 at position 0. And so I'll show you how we can do this here. We'll go back into QGIS position 0. Um, and that's going to be 0, uh, 120, and this is going to be 0. And that's going to be my green color. Now, for the next one, I'm going to need to add a gradient stop. I can do that by double-clicking in anywhere in this area. And I'm going to need a few of these, so I'm going to just uh, I'm going to add this many for now. You can drag these to change their position. Uh, you can enter a position in here. But these each have a color associated with them, so you'll notice if I drag this all the way over here, it's changing the color. Let's go back to the blog post, find out the position and color for this. Uh, so we're at 28 and 89.86. So uh, let's make that 28. And then we go 89.86. Okay. And we're right on top of another one here, so that's the that's the problem. We'll grab that and just move it over. Um, slide these down a little. This will be the next one we do. Let's go check that one out. Um, 47, 119, 75. Uh, 47, 119, 75. Okay. And let's select this one. Go check it out. 60. 146, 110, 49, 60, and I already forgot those. Um, 146, 110, 149. So 146, 110, uh, 49. And we got another one here. And let's go check that out. Uh, and it's at 74, 173, 
146, 101. Let's see if I remember those. 74, 173, 146, 101, 74, uh, 173, 146, 101. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm going to double check those. 73, 146, 101. Okay, we got those correct. And then our last one is just going to be straight white. And so that's 255, 255, 255. Okay, so I have this uh, green, brown, and white color ramp loaded up for the elevation. Uh, looks pretty similar to what I have here. That's good. Go back into QGIS. Now what I can do is I can click OK. And you can see my new color ramp is, is populated here. Now I want to save this ramp um, so that I have it for later use. So I can go to Save Color Ramp. I can type an name and type Elevation, um, Green, Brown, White. And I'm going to give it uh, a tag, which is going to be Elevation. Uh, so that when I want to go back and find this, it's easy to do. I'm going to just smash those together there. Um, I can add it to my favorites and save. Now when I click OK, uh, you can see that it changed the symbology on my DEM. I like that symbology a lot better. Um, now one trick, and this is uh, that I like to do with these DEMs, is to make them a little bit transparent so that the, the hill shade can show through and give a nice effect. So make that 60% uh, opaque. This is opacity, not transparency, but this is transparency. And we'll click OK. And now you can see that I, I have that uh, hill shade showing through, and it gives <clears throat> a nice little effect there. Now I think we can access um, the, the, the color ramp in my style manager. And you can see I have these tags here. I have my favorites. Um, I should have a color ramp in there. Oh, I have to go to color ramp. So here are my favorites, and I have that elevation uh, in there. And I can go to this elevation tag, and my elevation is in there also. And so you can manage your styles in here. Um, but as you can see, uh, that's how we can handle that. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, any tutorials you'd like to see, uh, give, me a, give me a comment, and I'll, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, hope you all have a great day and this answers some of your questions.